Are you good? Neo Punk FM. What is your signature mosh move? You want to see it? What type of people do you see at hardcore shows? Oh my gosh. Guys you don't want to bump into on the street. People with like windbreakers and shit, like they try to prove their masculinity just being here. You know, they want to be here for like a certain vibe or something. I wish people would smell better, but at the same time, as real fucking hard, especially when you're in there with all the with all the beautiful shirtless men. What's the craziest thing you've seen in a hardcore mosh? One dude got his fucking teeth kicked out. Another dude got his nose broken, and the last dude just, I think, got his piercing kicked out. I saw a guy pick up another guy by the shirt and punch him three times in the face. Like, pretty hard? Yeah, pretty hard. Moshing with a trash can is awesome. Every time I go to a show, I'm like, God, I hope someone picks up a trash can and uses it. That, that is hilarious to me. What hardcore band do you think has the worst fans? Knocked Loose and Turnstile. All their fans are awful. They're the most entry-level band, and if you're so fucking stoked about Knocked Loose, you should probably stop listening to music. Knocked Loose is a fucking killer band. I love the set. What's well, something that kind of pisses you off about, like, old heads and, and hardcore? Okay, so I'll use Turnstile as an example, where old heads kind of give it a lot of hate for being too feminine or not, like, hard enough. And I've always thought that's a little stupid, and I just, I don't see the correlation, you know, like... The thing right now that's kind of the issue is there's this band called Turnstile, and they got like really f-ing big and like kind of not hardcore ish. What advice would you give to knock loose and turnstile fans? Get better. What annoys you about old heads in the scene? The unity shit. They're all like hardcore, but unity. And then also like the vegan straight edge guys who are like 50. I don't know. I just want to eat meat. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to wear leather. Like, I don't know. Really just the fact that they can't move as much. And they're more, if you're in the pit and you're trying to just go through, they're just a, they're just a barricade in your way, bro. I'm like, get the out of my way bro where they're like a bunch of old people who like glare at you if you're doing any sort of karate i saw a guy go like hardcore shit no as long as they're being cool about you know moshers and everything just people having a good time then i'm cool with it what are old heads missing from today's hardcore scene shit i don't know manners (laughs) a wife do old heads piss you off sometimes what's the worst thing that they do i don't know be gatekeepy be like weird and shitty gatekeepy they try to gatekeep shit off Gatekeeping is cool. Don't don't share with anyone. What if your favorite band has to like eat or like they're trying to like you know like make money so they can feed their family and shit like that? Only the good bands know how to survive through that. If they don't, they're not good. They should keep gatekeeping because that perpetuates the cycle. The poser of today is the gatekeeper of tomorrow. So it's like a circle of life. One of the nicest things about this tour has been the selection of human beings that it's brought to each show. Some old heads, some medium heads, and some very new heads. That's as it should be. I've been advised to say not to jump off the balcony. However, there really are no rules. a hardcore if I'm a landlord that's also a venture capitalist? <laughs> Shit. I feel like you would get beat the f*** up by numerous drunk people. No, that goes against everything the community stands for. You kind of got to be part of the working class in order to be in hardcore. Yeah, you can, you can. At the end of the day, you're the one dealing with all the problems and all the boring bullshit. You let your anger out on some random hobo on the street, bro. But what if I just like, like the music and I'm really accepting and I also just like raise the rent on a single mother? <laughs> You stand in the back, bro. So what if I just like raise the rent on a single mother of three, but I use my extra profit to support local bands and buy their merch? Oh no, you should keep it a secret, I guess. Like, I just raised the rent on a single mother of three. Oh no, 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 no. One f- landlords, venture capitalist, for the most part, f- you. I've seen tech bros at hardcore shows. How many people here do you think have or will in the future have a fake enlightenment phase? Probably a lot of them. I've seen a few. I can see it in their eyes. Did a lot of acid in high yeah. school. They're still enlightened, bro. What do you mean by that? They get, like, really into Buddhism for two weeks. <laughs> I know someone that happened to. 63%. All of them. Why do you say that? You get hit in the head hard enough, you experience fake enlightenment. Have you experienced it? No, not yet. What music will you listen to when you enter mosh retirement? Emo violence. I don't know. Or jazz. Or country. That's, like, the three routes that hardcore dudes take. 
shit. Probably the Smiths. Probably shit like Bjork or Susie and the Banshees, you know? What are your thoughts on crowd killing? I love it. If you're in the pit, whatever, it's free game, get fucked. But if you, if it's like people on the edge of the pit, you know, it's gonna be up for debate. If it's like you're way back and someone's just going through the crowd just punching people, I, I, I don't feel like that's right. I mean, I don't want to get crowd killed personally, but like people who complain about it, I don't like, so I guess they can be crowd killed. Is uh, crowd killing acceptable? Uh, as a security guard, no. As a fan of hardcore, yes. <laughs> Hey man, how's the show? Yeah, fucking awesome, bro. One of the best harvest shows ever. Hey, how's the show? Awesome, man. Couldn't do better. How's the show? The best I've ever seen. Oh, I fucked because I watched Neil Punk FM. Oh!